Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the show. We are 0-9. We are dead last in the conference. We are almost dead last in the power rankings, but you know what? It still won't deter our toughness or who am I kidding? We're, we're, we suck. We aren't winning any games and you know what? We're going 0-82 and I am here for it. We finally got the first win of the season just barely over to the Thunder. Who have not won a game either. It was the battle of the winless teams, and we finally got our first win of the season. Believe it or not, we actually have a chance against the Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and James Harden led Nets. Cade from deep! Oh. Oh, no! I mean, there's not a good matchup really on the court. Get into the lane. Oh, he missed! Ooh, Vic under the basket! Wait. Oh, I forgot! I completely forgot it was the sudden... They changed the rule to the sudden death overtime! Oh, we win the ball game! I completely forgot! I was confused. I was like, what the hell just happened? Well, there we go! There we go! We beat the Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. Led Nets. Who the hell is Sheldon Malone and why did he play 40 minutes? Well, after beating the Nets, we've lost four in a row. Apparently, Chris Boucher asked for a trade. Along with Earl Jenkins, who is has not been happy really the entire year. I don't really know what our, the future of this team is looking like. Because obviously I think we got Cade as our centerpiece. After that though, I was hoping Earl would be there. He doesn't seem like he wants in. Boucher doesn't want in. Although I feel like he... I might just go ahead and keep him with the two years. Like with Chetty and Thad and Vic. Um, Josh Jackson apparently is also very upset. DeLon Wright has not been playing very well. Neither does Kennard, honestly. So I'm going to throw Ty Jerome in there, see what he can do, and just see if maybe we got something in him. Obviously, he's not very happy right now, but hopefully if we play him a little bit, and hopefully he maybe turns it around a little bit. We'll just see. Currently hanging with the Jazz right now. Josh Jackson's open. No, but he missed. Boucher, no! I thought... Oh, my God. I thought... I don't know. I thought, I was, I thought he was going to pump fake. And then all of a sudden he starts going up, and so I try to double back down on the X button, but it turns out I ended up just having him double clutch, and then he missed. Are you going to pass the ball in? I'm just going to throw it up with nope. Bernard. Why are you even fouling, man? Oh my god, the Clippers are moving Paul George for Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier. They must really suck if they're making that move. And we finally get the best of the Liberty. I think it's the first time we've ever, ever beaten them. Like I said, Boucher and Josh Jackson seem very upset. Earl might be salvageable. But Josh Jackson and Boucher both seem very upset. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the trade block. And we're just going to see what people are going to offer for them. Like I said, this is what they want, not what I want, but... And then come trade deadline time, maybe we'll move them, so... Lakers are getting Drew Holiday. From the Clippers? Oh, whoa! Liberty are getting Andre Drummond for Andrew Wiggins. Pretty much straight up, there's a first round pick in there. Wow, that's, that's big. No All-Stars for us, not really surprising. Cade right now averaging 19, 6, and 8, though. He's having a very good year right now. Earl Jenkins having a solid year as well as Vic. Cade right now in first place for Rookie of the Year. Probably pretty handily if you look at his stats compared to other people's. So a team very interested in Earl Jenkins is the Nuggets. And the trade probably would be centered around Greg Brown here. But 
Obviously, I'm going to need something else in return, especially if I'm also giving up Josh Jackson here. So I'm going to try to get something to work out here with this trade. So I'm trying to get also get our RJ Hampton. I think he'll also be a good young player who we can probably develop and play even maybe even next to Cade. But I'm trying to try to get something to work out. All right, so what's going to happen here is I'm basically going to make a three-team trade because they're going to accept this. Are you sure about that? All right, this is what I had here. And then they offered me the counter. All right, so kind of had the same deal here. It's a doozy of a deal, but let me explain kind of what's happening here. We had a deal in place. They backed out for some reason. So I kind of maneuvered it eventually. And eventually, I got a solid deal. It's similar to what we were getting earlier. So start off, we're giving up Earl Jenkins, Josh Jackson, uh, Ty Jerome. All three of them want to be traded. We're also giving up Pau Gasol and Brad Watermaker. Pau Gasol gets a chance to win another ring. And then this pick here for Greg Brown, who's not been playing well. So they get a replacement. Uh, Monte Morse, who we're actually going to make it a third team in the deal and we're going to move him um, unfortunately the three team deals in this game are too janky um, I've talked about this before so he will not stay on the team he's going to be in a third team of a deal here we're also getting RJ Hampton someone we can hopefully develop into something special uh, Galloway and Whit Whittington I've never heard of that guy before or just add-ons and we're also getting this pick again kind of just weird maneuverings but this is the trade we are getting. So I, I actually like that deal a lot. But again, we are not done. We're going to throw out fuelers and see who wants Monte Morris. Whoa, 86 speed with ball. You can't really shoot, but... I decided I'm going to go ahead and hold on to Monte Morris. I kind of was looking at the deals. Didn't really like anything. He is young. Um, we'll see how he plays off the bench. Maybe eventually he is a starting point guard for this team. Right now, obviously, there's not a spot for him. I don't feel like moving Vic to three, at least not right now. Um, he doesn't really... He isn't really built to play the three and Cade's built to be a point guard so we'll see we'll hold on to him for now hopefully Greg Brown can turn to something if not you know we still got draft picks and that's really where our main team building is I come from is draft picks so we still got a while to go we will still look at moves or maybe like make moving Boucher but right now this is pretty likely this is gonna be what the team's looking like so we're going to go ahead and sit tight at the trade deadline. We don't have any outstanding or any contracts that are going to run out that really are going to hurt us. So for now, we'll just sit tight. Oh, Greg, that is unfortunate. My legs. Oh my god, Chetty. Oh, hopefully we can get to the end of the season without any more injuries. That would be great. Another broken nose. God damn. Giannis wins MVP with 30, 14, and 5. Cade wins rookie of the year. He had 20 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists. Not shoot well from the three-point line, but you know what? That can change. Obi Toppin won six man of the year. Jonathan Isaac wins DPOI. John Morant wins most improved player. Budenholzer. Michael Myers. Do we have anyone on these teams besides Cade on the rookie team? That is the question here. Does not appear so. We got Cade on the rookie team, and that looks about it. Oh, we have Greg Brown. He has 7 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Shooting the 3 ball, probably too much for my liking. Obviously, we didn't make the playoffs. We were the worst team in the West. We were the worst team in the league, and that was kind of sad considering the fact we weren't the worst team in the league last year. But as I was saying last episode, or a couple episodes ago, I don't know, Clippers are already bad, which is good news for us because we got some picks by them. Any surprises in the playoffs? Not, I mean, Kings are four. The Lakers are only seven, and they lose in the first round. Oh, the Pelicans with Brandon Ingram and Zion are already threatened a championship they don't make it and the bucks win this year's nba championship led by Giannis, of course either way nothing special there uh, player retirements carmel anthony is retiring fad young is out of here did not see that one coming actually i definitely did not see that one coming it kind of makes me upset definitely wanted him for next year 
Edwin Bullard retired. Carmelo did get in in the Hall of Fame. Obviously getting his... Not getting his number retired by the Knicks. Okay. So this is the draft lottery. This is big. Um, that number one pick right now is ours. We have it top five protected. That Bulls pick is inside the top ten. So if that does stay inside the top... I guess it's very unlikely for it to go out, so... Oh my god, the 16th pick. This is the Bulls pick. Which we are not getting. We are not getting this Bulls pick, so... Which is fine with me. We do have the Bulls pick for next year. We have a good either Clippers or Thunder pick for next year. I believe we get the better of the two. I actually don't know. I, I, I don't really know how it works, but... And the Rockets get another pick! So that means the Hornets are in? Alright, so we got top three. We got top three. Hornets. Oh, when we dropped to three. Wow, we are just really, really unlucky when it comes to lottery. The Knicks are still in there. Wow, Knicks go from 16 to two. To two! So we have the third pick. That's the only pick we have in the draft in the first round. I believe we have a couple of second rounders, some solid second rounders at that, but number three pick, we have the first pick in the second round, and the third pick in the second round, so those, those are some solid second rounders, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same uh, staff for this year. Like I said, I think it wasn't about them, or it wasn't really about these three that really the focus here. Like, I don't have a problem with the trainer and the scout and uh, the Mr. That Guy. Um... But if we struggle again this year, like I'm, I'm planning on making a run this year. Like this is the year we start making a push and we use other people's draft picks for the next draft. Because we have some solid draft picks that aren't ours. So if we start struggling this year, then maybe we make a move at head coach and we drop him and maybe these two even at the same time. So we will see. Just take on this guy for a year. I will take that. Before we go into the draft, Mind ourselves. We get Patrick Baldwin and Chet. These are the two big ones. If they do not go 1 2, I will pick one of them. In particular, pro hopefully Chet. If we don't get Chet, we don't get Chet. Uh, but if those two go 1 2, then we'll maybe look to move the pick. I'm not sure what the play here is yet. Oh! So the Hornets do pick Chet. Not really that big a surprise. I think he's easily the best player in this draft. I wouldn't say easily. Patrick Baldwin is also very good. Is going to be... Never mind. No. The Hornets, sorry, are moving back one pick for a second round pick in 2024. <laughs> As just golden. They pick Damien... Go what? just don't get it they picked Damian Collins oh my god all right so it does mean Patrick Baldwin is there we do need a small forward everything seems to be working out I guess we'll see what we can get with this pick but I don't see anything I don't see any reason we wouldn't pick our guy so look at this they're they went from doing that they just really like second round picks apparently because they're willing to give up Damian Collins and TJ McConnell for this third round pick and a second round pick. <laughs> <laughs> like this trade kind of makes sense for both sides. It wouldn't make sense to make this move here. But you know what? Actually, this would make a lot of sense to make this move here. 19, 12, 5 assists. We're going to have to fix that three-point uh, tendency. Not really the shot, but the tendency in general because he does take threes now. I can't believe that tendency is not fixed. It's an 80! Why is he... I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna be real though, I really want him. This is the trade I'm gonna make. We're gonna need to move our pick and a the 2026 second round pick for Demonis Sabonis. I think it's gonna work out. It makes sense. I think we need... I want him a lot. It makes sense for the Pacers. They're moving up in the draft. I would think, I, I think I'd rather have Sabonis. Then Patrick Baldwin. He's still a 26. He's got room to grow. I think he can definitely help lead this team to the playoffs next year with Cade. I think Baldwin's going to take a couple extra years. I think this is the right move. Even though I don't want to. And they pick Paulo 
Bunjero. And they already have Kuminga. Yep, that makes sense. Wait, never mind. Kuminga's a small board. Patrick Baldwin is still falling. There he goes. He's also, like I said, he's a very good pick. But I really want a Sabonis. I think he's the right move, right move now. Looks like they really like Keon Johnson. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up Keon Johnson with our uh, our first second round pick. He's a small forward. Maybe he can develop into something. Maybe he doesn't. You know, we'll, we'll definitely see in the future. So our pick. I probably won't move it just because I won't really get anything out of it. I kind of like Kai Jones as the next pick. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick him. We got a couple of solid second rounders in my opinion. Oh, wow, bud. Montero, better than I thought. But yeah, there's Baldwin and 80 overall. Ceilings Hall of Fame. I just, I don't know. The defense lacks a lot. Um, with Chet, I would think he, he, you know, he's an easy pick, but not having the number one pick, I think it makes sense to make that pick for Sabonis. What he's signing? <laughs> 75, 76, why would we not make this pick? I mean, these two are rotational players on this team. I just don't get like that doesn't really make sense to me that they decline every second round pick. Big lose. 75 overall, you're just not gonna sign him? Two 75 overall. Like you have this guy, and then you have these two players that are higher overall than him, and you're not cute. RJ Hampton, that's an easy accept. KD declines his player option, as well as Harden, as well as Kyrie. Wow, the Nets could be left with no one after this free agency. So, like I said, this is a big free agent pool. Big! If you didn't want wouldn't be a bad pickup. I need a small forward. Like, I need a starting small forward. I made the move for Sabonis. I need a starting small forward. Yeah, like I said, we need a just a small forward to start. And then off the bench, I don't know. I don't know. Kennard's got to go. In fact... Kennard and Chetty gotta go now. Like, I know this isn't the best... Like, this is not the best trade I would offer here. But this is a team that... Does not suck. There were a lot of teams that sucked that tried to take this. This is a team that is good. So it makes sense for them to take this offer. It's because they can actually use these players to help them win. But we are getting two draft picks. So yeah, we just need to sign really one player. And as much as I want to sign KD, I don't even have the money... Assign him. Never mind. I thought I had a lot more money than I did. Well, we'll do it. We'll, 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 we'll do what we can with what we got. Still love to pick him up. I, I just don't know if he's gonna be happy with it. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is offer T.J. Warren. I don't know if he's going to accept this offer, but offer him this. Oh fuck! Straight up declined it. Okay, cool. So assuming he doesn't just turn around and magically accept it. I believe we have to go somewhere else. I feel like either a Kogi or Mikhail. I'm going to try to get Mikhail. He is restricted, so hopefully he doesn't get matched. But I really want Mikhail. Don't match. It looks like they didn't match. So it looks like we got Mikhail to start for us. Like I said, we're not a great team. But we're, we're, we're definitely shaping up. And I think we had a bright future. We had a bright future with this team. Got a lot of young, solid players. I think that's gonna do it for free agency, honestly, because I just don't I don't see anyone else that I'm going to sign. I don't have the money. I don't have the money to even look at someone big, so let's go ahead and take a look to see where people went. Kevin Rant went back to the Nets. Luca stood with the Mavericks. Steph went back to the Warriors. Harden went back to the Nets. Trey Young went back to the Hawks. I'm pretty sure he's just restricted. Kyrie went back to the Nets. Jimmy Butler. Wow, everyone's everyone stood. Everyone stood. Everyone stood. Everyone stayed on the same team. Hell, even Jonas stayed on the Grizzlies. Rozier is the f first player to see the leaf. Wow, almost everyone stood. Wow, that's insane. Like I said, we gotta fix his shot three tendency. It doesn't need to be big, but it needs to be better. Because obviously, he's it's not only that he is his three-point shot is good, 
It's like he's taking threes this year. I don't know what a good three-point shot tendency is. So I guess we'll just leave it at that. Player progression. Sabonis went up one. Cade went up six. Vic went up one. Boucher went up one. Monte went up one. Uh, Early went up four. He's going. He's kind of coming out of nowhere. I'm not going to lie. Um, Greg Brown went up two. He actually got solid perimeter defense. He's a better perimeter defender than he is post. If he, don't, he develops a shot form, he might be more of a small forward. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out for, depending on if he can develop a shot. Um, Bowen went down, Langston went down, okay, cool. Um, let me move on. Hey, we're doing pretty good. What are our team? We had Dragon Bender! <laughs> what? Okay, Dragon Bender was a, is a stud. Congratulations to the Hawks. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. Big, big time draft coming up because Amani Bates is a big time player you want to pick up. So we get two of them? Hmm. Well, definitely perimeter shooting. Cade. And definitely perimeter shooting, I guess, Greg Brown. Right? Yeah, we'll give it to Greg. Hopefully he can up his three point shot. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode guys it probably didn't have a lot of action a lot of probably menus and stuff like that but we got through another season we're heading to this season i'm actually very hopeful for this one i think we have a solid team around us this time we got sabonis Cade, and vic obviously um reconnecting the sabonis old depot connection we have a solid team we have a young and up-and-coming team and i'm super excited not only for this upcoming year but for the you know for the near future i can't wait i can't wait, really wait to get back into it so like i said that's going to do it for this episode if you guys did like please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and until next time i'll see you guys later